she looked at me and went, Mummy, why are you sad? <laughs> My name's Shanice, I work at Southland Hospital as a medical emergency assistant. Um, so we are frontline workers. Um, and last night, me and my partner um, uh, agreed that I left the family home uh, due to vulnerable people under the roof. So my mother-in-law currently lives with me. She's got really chronic asthma and uh, susceptible to the pneumonia. She's had it quite, quite a few times. Uh, and she's got uh, a long health condition of Crohn's. So her immune system is basically, it's, she, she's, a, she's very high risk. Um, and I've got a two year old as well. Um, so yeah, we, uh, we come to the agreement that last night I would uh, leave the family home today. So, this morning I woke up, I packed my things. Honey's going bad, her day is normal. Considering a two year old, she don't understand. I said to honey, mummy's going away for a little while. Mummy's got work. And um, she said, mummy, I come. I come, mummy. I said, no, baby, you can't. I said, I'm going to Nanny's house and, and Nanny's going to stay here with you, Nanny. Okay, okay, mummy. So, uh, so today's my first first day of 12 weeks away from my kid. <laughs> and it's very hard. So I said my goodbyes to him, as a normal parent would do. Started to cry. <sighs> she said she looked at me and went, Mummy, why are you sad? <laughs> I didn't know how to answer it, so I just replied with, yeah, mummy's sad. Mummy's sad. And my two-year-old, she grabbed her sleeve. And she wiped my tears away with her sleeve and said, don't cry, mummy. It's like, that's a two-year-old. So the influx of... um potential suspe uh, suspected COVID patients, they're coming through the doors like, we're, we're basically suspecting everybody who's either got a cough, temperature, both, etc. Like, I'm petrified of going to work. I'm petrified, but I have to go to work. You have to stay indoors. There is nothing so special out there for you to be going out. Yeah, the sun's shining, yeah? You're, you might be dead in a few weeks because you wanted to go out and go get some fresh air and mingle with people and not keep the two metre distance. <sighs> Guys, you need to, need to really get your priorities straight. Go home, stay home, <sighs> protect your children, protect the vulnerable people that you could potentially be infecting. You need to be so vigilant, guys. Vigilant. I've had to leave my daughter for three months. Because I don't want to put her in that vulnerable situation. She has no idea what's going on. No idea at all. Just wise up, guys.